Um, I checked. I don't know if you saw my tweet. Your prostate? You checked your prostate? <laughs> Stupid reactions units. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter, or juicy. juicy. God, that's so <laughs> juicy. juicy. Oh, oh not the right juiciness you want. On prostate us. humor. Mm. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. We just did that. Oh, did yeah. we? Oh yeah. Uh, I've had too much. Loose I've had too mind. much cocaine today. Yep, that's what it is. Uh, too much of it. Too much. Uh, and we're doing a movie. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where we are right now. <laughs> of our fifth. Technically, technically, it's yeah. not technically. It's it our, is. It's our fifth and first. Fifth and first. Yeah. Fifth and first. Uh, fifth because obviously the Apu trilogy, which is three films. He didn't make them as one film. The Lord of the Rings trilogy is three films. True. So, although what's funny is we call them three films, but we think of them as the Opu trilogy so much yeah. that when somebody says to us their favorite film is oh, Kato yeah. Panchali. We go, what's that? Yeah. Uh, and they're like, yeah, the first in the Opu trilogy. Oh, yeah, we have seen that. <laughs> if you don't know that what actually happened. That actually happened. Niraj interview. Just go check it out. It wasn't him. It was us. It was us. Uh, but, yes, today we are uh, reviewing our first non sachet Rai uh, Bengali film. And it comes from the very acclaimed, uh, critically, and um, from you guys as well. Everybody said, go watch, go watch, go yep. watch. And a trailer Nick, that we liked. Nigarkertan. 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 <laughs> how would you how do you actually pronounce that? I don't know, but the way you said it. Nigarkertan. Yeah, it sounds like something. Uh, yeah, you got a problem with your uh, Nigarator over here, but I just need to replace that Nigarkertan. <laughs> and you'll be good to go. <laughs> how do you actually pronounce that? I'm guessing Nogarkertan. It is it's probably closer to that because the A's are usually O sounds. Nagorkoton. Directed and written by um, Kosha Kanguli, who I believe is a renowned director in Bengal uh, cinema. Uh, and acted by, let's just say, the, the main two at least. Yes. Ritwik Chakraborty and Riddhi Sen. And I believe they both come from like uh, Bengali lineage of yes actors. yes I mean, and dancers and yes. especially uh riddy yes is, is that a bengali last name sen that's a good question i don't know because i i only know from you guys that you told me this. yeah they, they all in chakraborty or Chakra, yeah, yeah. chakraborty mukherjee yeah yes those are common very popular but bengali last i also names. know nothing so yeah and i don't know i don't know if sen is a bengali last also name. apparently he was in a kahani as well uh i believe he had a small part in kahani. i was gonna say what, what? in lion and Lion? I, Who did I, he play in Lion? I never saw Lion, but he was all, he was also 17 years old in this. So Was he the adopted kid in Lion? I don't know. It was, this was 2016, and so that was four years ago. He may have been the big brother. I don't know. Wow, Lion's a really, really Well, good I remember because it, it was nominated for a bunch of Oscars. Yes. And I, I, just, I never got to My it. favorite work with Nicole Kidman, probably. Yeah. She's supporting in it, and it's by far her best work and the subject matter is incredible it's a true story mm. i'd love to receive anyway that. anyway so this is uh once again our first non such a ride bengali film yes we're gonna explore more bengali cinema just as we are going to explore every single cinema yes. if you'd like to see the um our reviews for other bengali cinema or other regions i have playlists of every single one of them this yep. will go in the bengali playlist so you can go check those out 100 percent spoiler review if you haven't watched it, go check it out. It's pretty short, 150 minutes, basically. Yep. So, I mean, in comparison to other films. <laughs> Is it really 150? I think it's around 150, I think. Wow. Yeah. Anyways, so. It didn't feel like 150. Thoughts. Did you watch it with Andrani? No. She was, in, watch she was intending to watch it with me, mm -hmm. but she wasn't feeling well enough to do so. So she said, you go right ahead and, and you watch it. She, she was going to. But, cool, cool. You got a paragraph? Um, I have a semi-paragraph, yes. That's both written and then it'll be off the top of my head. He has a semi. Um, <laughs> Yes. One of the most tender, thoughtful, empathetic, and loving depictions of its kind, mm -hmm. in company with the likes of the Danish girl and Call Me By Your Name, with an absolutely captivating and incredible performance by Rudy Sen. Yeah. I agree. I agree as well. Um, there, were, there were some issues I had. It's actually mostly the issues I had were probably going to be with the, the way it was structured. 
uh, but we could talk about that more. Sure. It's, it, no big issues for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought she was definitely the high. Uh, he, sorry, because the actor. That's I believe, how good he was. Yeah, that's how good he was. That's how good he was uh, right there. Because uh, like, if, that's fantastic. I, I had to, <laughs> I had to look up to see. I was like, is this a trans actor? Is this a woman? Who is this? And then it was, a, it was just a man actor. Yeah. Which, he did a phenomenal job. Yeah, I loved that when I first started to explore, because I wanted to know, Yeah, uh, there wasn't anything telling me anything. Mm -hmm. So other than the fact that they were, were referring to him as a he in his his uh, descriptions. Yeah, they so let you figure it out. They let you figure it out. And I loved it first. It just, it, the, it goes straight to the brilliance of his performance that you did, couldn't really tell. Yeah. You cannot tell. No, and I, I would, I meant to look up before the review, like him in interviews, because I want to see how he actually is as a person, right. how, what his voice is like, and right. how. I'd imagine it was a, quite a huge transformation. And I, I think our friend Rohan, who is a Bengali, um, he said he's the youngest actor to ever win a national award. Oh, well, he deserved it. Yeah, I think he was 17 when he got uh, got the national award for this. Was he 17 in this? Yes, he was 17 at the time. Gee, whiz. insane, right? Yeah. So like yeah, this it, it this I is, did not realize that. I thought this was a twenty something playing an eighteen. Point blank, worth it just to watch for the performance that this man gives. If that, I would tell anybody equate it to uh, Eddie Redmayne in the Danish Girl. That's exactly where I would go. Yeah, and even more so because they're very similar in terms of they're both they both have a similar. So if you haven't seen the Danish Girl, you really should. It's yeah. a true story about a. The same exact situation where you have a male who wants to be female and is struggling with the fact that they have always felt connected to a female and feel like they're a woman in a man's body and need yeah. to have the transition. Mm -hmm. But there was for me, as much as Eddie did, I'm not taking a single thing away from Eddie Redmayne. And it's also a very different Very, very soul, different story. Technicals, because they yeah. also got to go into Eddie's a little more too. Exactly. and. I got the opportunity. I don't know. Did you go to any of the SAG screenings for Danish Girl with him with Q and A's? No, I wasn't SAG at the time. Oh, yeah. well, I I went to one. I, I, I don't I'm trying to remember who I brought with me, but anyway, Eddie Redmayne did a Q and A afterwards, and he was what you would expect: extremely articulate, intelligent, empathetic. Talked about what it was like to portray the character. This for me. I was immediately caring about this character. Oh yeah, I immediately connected to this character. I made an audible gasp and covered my mouth. Mm. Like I went <gasps> when when the wig came off. Oh yeah, same. Yeah, because that, that that whole scene was here. She is having a cathartic breakdown and being comforted, and I didn't see it coming. I did as she was doing the hair. I didn't see the wig coming off. I I thought. That something like they were going to reveal something. I knew but I, I didn't, that would happen. I didn't. I didn't foresee that she was no. going to have, have her wig taken off and have it done without her, oh. her basically knowledge of it. And and I also felt, and you know, as for me, the the stealer of the show is Riddy Sin. I thought that Chakraborty, opposite Riddy, did a, a, yeah, did a really solid yeah, job. I I think so as well. I had a I had a. A weird relationship with this character, which was, I think, it, I, maybe it wasn't intended. I don't know. I thought he was an asshole at some point. Like, when, like, <laughs> it's yeah, just, when, I don't when know. When he didn't want to see him. When he, he's like, yeah. don't ever sh come into my, pe like, not being preety or, or, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, what, what was the name? The put Pooty, sorry. Um, don't ever come in, like, don't ever, I don't want to see you. I don't want to see the hat. I was like, you're a dick. Well, yeah, I, I, I gave, got, I gave him a little bit more in that because I could tell that he, was <laughs> he was still not coming to terms with who he is he was yeah and i think there were parts of him that were fighting that aspect and didn't want to be he want i think at first for him it was a fantasy yeah and then he realized i'm in love with you and then but he never saw himself as gay and so he was like i'm yeah i, I need I, you to be a woman i don't think he fully embraced it Mm. until the final frame. Yeah, and that's uh, the final frame was very interesting because it wasn't what I was expecting from I, the final frame. Not at all. And it, you could, it's open to interpretation of what that meant. Yes. I thought he was going to kill him. <laughs> at the end. You thought he was going to kill everybody in the room? <laughs> you would. <laughs> 
because I didn't know if it was the ones that like beat her up or whatever. I didn't oh, know. no, it was the Calcutta yeah, group. Yeah, I figured yeah. that out after. But at first, I thought it was that group. And I was like, oh, he's oh. going to shoot them all in the face. Vigilante style. <laughs> you killed my woman. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not what happened. That would have been great. Yeah. So that's just where my mind goes. Uh, watch Massacre. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> been watching too much of that. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, Patreon. Anyways, uh, so yeah, that was so interesting that because he came out in in, in oh, a was woman's cool. garb, and you, I, I, I'm still wondering what it actually meant fully. I, I was think... it in just is his support for her? No. Was it a, that this is how he's felt? Because I never thought that he was struggling with the feeling like a woman. I don't think he was ever feeling like a feeling a, a struggle as a woman. Mm-hmm. I think for him, and this is a wonderful thing about the director giving you an opportunity to yeah. choose what you want it to be at the end. There, mm-hmm. I think what the message was was when, as we look at this character, was he? It was a combination of I'm going to accept the fact that I am who I am. And I'm finally, once and for all, going to kill all of the prejudices and stereotypes I had about the eunuchs, the group, whatever mm-hmm. whatever he had been pre-programmed by his family that he believed once. Yeah. Uh, that it was a... What, what could I liken it to? Uh, it's reminding me of something where... Why don't I... I'm, I'm seeing... Uh, a bird. No. There's a film where somebody completely and fully embraces themselves. And I, I, I don't know if it's Birdcage or... <laughs> but anyway, that's what, that's what I took it to mean. And I thought oh, it was... Fussy. It, I thought it was especially poignant that they held as long as they yeah, did. they did. And a tear came down, mm-hmm. which that just happened in the moment. Yeah. Um, I also... I knew. I, I could feel... I, I knew she was going to die. Yeah, I felt it too. I knew that was coming. Yeah. Um, I felt it was a really honest... I appreciated the reality that they did. Did You notice that he wet himself when he died. Mm -hmm. And they typically don't show that in... But that's the truth. When people die, all bodily functions go... Fart, poop. Fart, poop, pee. Everything releases. So usually when someone hangs themselves, they've crapped their pants and peed their pants because the whole system just goes off. Mm Mm-hmm. And it added to the sadness of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we can get into, which we should, the subject matter, the, the actual issue it's talking about. But before we do, you had said something about uh, pacing or timing or... No, so like the only issue I had, and it wasn't... It's not a huge issue. Because um, I... I there's, it's actually a double-edged sword. Because the, the director, I thought, did a brilliant job um, with making sure the audience... It told the audience what it needs to know, but it didn't dumb it down ever. And it never mm-hmm. spoon fed you. So right. like you had to figure out that, okay, she's tra- she wants to be transgender or she feels like a, this is a man. Right. This is a woman. Um, but he, he wants to be, but they never actually specifically said no. no, they told you. Exactly. And as well as the, the shifts back to the, the beginning yeah. of the relationship to now, there was never any hint at, yeah, there was a lot of the back. the back and forth. Yeah. And it was actually really well done because a lot of times the back and forth, it was like they were on a bus and then the, the scene that right. was there was all, had to do with a bus in some sort of way. So right. it was a lot of that. The only thing it, I felt like sometimes, since it was a lot of it, it took away from some of the, the impact of what was happening in the now or, or, the, mm. or the past. Because they did it so much. Okay. I just wanted to, I wanted to stay in that a little more. Gotcha. That's the only thing I could critique it with, though. Okay. And it's not like a big, like I said, it's not a big right. thing. It's just, it's some, my personal preference, I would have liked to stay on certain moments probably longer. Just so I could feel it more. Interesting. Um, but yeah, that didn't, it didn't throw me. Yeah. I actually appreciated that the director... Nice double short. I, I like yeah, it. Yeah. Like there were times I got a little confused. I was like, okay, where, where are we right now? Yeah, at the beginning, but I... I, yeah, I, was I like, like that. Yeah. I would much rather have a director do that than, mm-hmm. you know... <laughs> uh, but again, Reedy Sen, man. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. An absolutely exemplary it was so obvious the theater training mm-hmm. his dad's uh, I believe a thespian as well yeah one of my favorite moments in the film that you just can't teach an actor to do no matter how many times you tell an actor this is what I want unless they got it they ain't got it mm-hmm. and it was the moment when I mean he had many moments like this but the one that I found to be so brilliant 
was just him watching uh, her undress. Yeah, undress. Yeah, I thought it was a brilliant moment. Wasn't that a, just an incredible just moment? Him, yeah, he didn't because he didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. Just, but what I what? saw, I saw this person looking, longing. and all of yeah. the longing of. That's all I've ever wanted to be. Because a lot of times actors, unexperienced, will try to do something because right. they're like, nothing's happening on They'll the screen. They'll indicate left and right. Yeah. Um, they'll, they're, the thing will be, you know, the director might even say to them, this is what I'm hoping for. I want to see you watching her undress and everything you've wanted to be, you see in front of you. We very well may have said that. And inexperienced, untrained actors are going to mm -hmm. go, okay, so that means I need to show it. And, pff, eh, yep. No. And every moment, I didn't think he had a false moment. No, uh -huh. he was brilliant. And the most, the hardest thing for an actor in this role to do, and it would have been for me the highest compliment. Like if I had to play this character, which yeah. is this is this is the kind of character I would freaking love to play. Yeah. Uh, the highest compliment I could get would be one of two things. The first one would be that the audience believed I was more woman than male. Mm -hmm. And I believed that with this character. Yeah, I could have easily believed that was a woman. It was absolutely more feminine than masculine. Yeah. At his core. And then the, the larger one would be if I had the transgender community come up and go, you were, bro you were beautiful and brilliant. Yeah. That would be the highest compliment. I would like to know what the transgender community thought yeah. about it. Especially the one <laughs> in India and in Calcutta. Yeah. Which is it's different than the transgender community here because here there'd be a whole thing that a non-transgender was playing a transgender and, and yes. that's a whole debate in and of itself. Yes. Um, but I would like, yeah, I would like to know what real transgender uh, people or in that community thought about her performance. Yeah. His performance, her performance, whatever. And we've heard this term before. Uh, it seems to be pretty popular mm. to call transgender males eunuchs. Maybe because they... I think that's why. Yeah. Probably. I guess because they consider it that that's what, it's just so um, archaic to me. Well, the, the world has been archaic to trans people for ever. Yep. Uh, as long as they've known about them. Yeah. I'm pretty and sure. So there's, he had a line that for me typifies not just the film, but I felt was quite possibly of all the films that I mentioned, like we, we can talk about the films I mentioned, Danish Girl, Call Me By Your Name, Brokeback Mountain, obviously. Yeah. Um, there's a line he says when he's talking to him <laughs> and I got emotional and I said the line out loud and I wrote it down. Pudi gotcha. is talking to um, what's Chakraborty's character? Madhu. Madhu. He's talking to him and he says to him, what's my fault here? Yeah. That for me... Did you cry? At that moment, okay, actually. Gotcha. That moment got me emotional, as did him crying and the wig coming off. Yeah. I didn't cry at the end because I knew what was coming. Yeah. But when he said, what's my fault here? Yep. That for me was a unifying line from every single person. I just recently had a stupid baby on Instagram who's going to remain anonymous message me and the honor of getting these kinds of messages from stupid babies and saying, I'm gay. Mm -hmm. I want to tell my family, but I'm so scared, not just because of the judgment, but I know I'm going to hurt them. Yep. And I had this conversation as it was digitally. And I think for me, that's always been the biggest thing of, and I remember talking to Ashley, Alexis and Micah growing up, whenever we would see someone depicted in a film or a story who was transgender or homosexual, I would, I would say to my kids screaming for their empathy. What are they supposed to do? Yeah. What's their fault? Are they supposed to lie to themselves and say, when I look at someone who's of the same sex, I'm not feeling this. I should just lie about that and pretend I'm not having these feelings. You think that they say, I feel like a woman in a man's body. You think they're just making that up for attention. And can you imagine what that must be like yeah. to be someone who feels that way all the time and have society? I remember seeing a man walking at the Sherman Oaks Galleria, not an attractive woman, dressed as a woman, I think was transitioning. Because in the United States, when you do that, you have to live as a woman for a long time before they actually do the operation. Mm -hmm. And I remember walking him walk by me and thinking to myself, does anybody around here understand how courageous 
that is. Yeah, and then that's why whenever, what's his name, that Jenner did it, that's yeah. why it was such a big deal. Even, yeah. You know, he's he's very different than normal transgender people. Cause yeah, yeah. He's a millionaire. Right. Um, so that helps yeah. the situation. So he's not really the, the usual case, but that's why it was, you know, such a big deal because it, even, even if you're a millionaire, it's... He's finally coming out as who he's always thought he was. Right. Uh, or she, sorry. Uh, who she always thought she was. Um, and it's, it's, if anybody's struggling with this or with, you know, um, being, being gay or, or lesbian or whatever, um, I hope your families are understanding. That's the, that's the hardest thing. If you are a parent of somebody coming out, suck it up. It's not about you. Love them. Yeah. That's, it's not your job to tell your child how to live their life. Correct. Ever. Correct. <laughs> you just reminded me of something else I it's wrote on so here. so dumb. I, mean, um, I have a brother who, who is gay. Uh, he came out, I think, in college. We knew way before college. Yeah, everybody knew way before. <laughs> <laughs> we knew way before college. And I also have a cousin who came out much later, and her parents didn't take it as well. Uh, but both grew up in very Christian households, and so there was... My parents, I feel, handled it pretty darn well, even though I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff I don't know about as well, but the, my cousin, who's a, a, a woman, um, her, her parents are much more conservative. And so they had a hard, much harder time and their, their, the, especially the dad and her had a struggle for a long time, a couple years mm. before they finally reconciled. Mm. Your opinions on the matter are not as important as your relationship with your child. Correct. So get over it. And you're going to have other things in your life where you disagree with your child about something that for you is a critically important thing. For me, the singular most important thing you can have is, is, is the relationship that's built on love and it's loving life. It, yeah. <laughs> and you can say, you know, you can, you can mm. feel like I don't, uh, I don't agree with where you are in that place. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that you don't love and accept them. Yeah. I've never understood that. Makes no sense to me. <laughs> I've never understood it. Yeah, those posts about, I think I posted it on Twitter, when people are like, what would you do if your, your kid came home this way? It's like uh, a man dressed up as a woman. Right. And I was oh, like, I would love them. What, what's, your, what's your point? The dad. Yeah. When he wins the award and mama's so proud of him, mm -hmm. and all the dad can see is, why are you dressing him up in a dress? Why do you let him play with the girls' toys? Why do you let him play with the... It... <sighs> yeah. It's de definitely a very powerful film. Yes. It's obviously a very important film, especially since India, even though we know gay marriage was... I mean, um, being gay was legalized, marriage is still not legalized right. in right. India. And even here, where it's legalized, it's not... They don't have... <laughs> like, there's still... A, a, like oppression of people that are in that community and there's all, obviously attacks on people in the community the pulse nightclub yeah. happened here my brother was there that night like he i think he's had 10 friends who died at the pulse so like this the the persecution does not stop no sadly even when gay marriage is legal but it's somewhere it's the next step yes um so i this film is incredibly important i want to i want to send all the regards and the praise to the writer and the director of this film for yes. being this brave week, because we haven't even seen this story very much in, in American uh, cinema. There's, no. it's, it's happened a few times. You've had a few like but the ones I in mentioned. Indian cinema, that's, it's very different, because the culture's very different. Yes. As and, you saw. And what I loved about this film was the level of um, everything about it, the way it was shot, the way it was scripted, the way it was acted, and the way the score was done, because the music, I thought, was absolutely beautiful. It was very subtle. Lovely. Very yeah. subtle, very delicate, very nuanced, very tender, and very vulnerable. Yeah. I, I felt, and, and one of my favorite things about Reedy Sen is that the, that character portrayal, from my experience... For the folks that I've known and had in my life who are gay or transgender or transitioning, that's very much the kind of person that they are. Mm -hmm. Very loving, mm -hmm. very accepting, very expressive, and very hurt when they don't receive the same level of compassion back incomprehensible because they're such caring, compassionate, empathetic beings yeah. that when they don't get it back, it's deeply, deeply hurting. And even that last aspect, the level of lives that are taken by people themselves because of the hatred that's directed at that, because of the bullying, because of, it's really high. Yeah. And it's awful. This, I would love, this, this should be a, 
<laughs> yeah, this a family be, sit down. This should be <laughs> much watch for. I, I watched it with Leland. He loved it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he watched Gangs too. He loved that one. Yeah. <laughs> I bet he did. Oh, he, he loved it. Uh, he especially loved the, the one they chopped off the head. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Fantastic movie. Great. I great hope you're not film. still here if you haven't seen it. Uh, but if you are, just stop now, even though you've been spoiled the entire time. So I hope you're still not here. A lot of people do go away and come back. And yeah. Fantastic. That's fantastic. We should have, uh, because we had, a, uh, I think, Rohan. He, he got this film for us. Yeah, this is not an easy find. This is not an easy find, but uh, hopefully, and because I think the last one, that was not an easy find. What was it? Um, Hello Realm? Hello Realm, yeah. Because yeah. that was available in India, because you could get that on MX Player. Yep. I'm hoping it's available widely for India, because it's regional, and I know most people don't watch all regionals. Yeah. And we're hoping that changes. Yeah. And everybody watches all good cinema, regardless of where it's from. Imagine. <laughs> Language doesn't matter, but you know, I digress. Uh, phenomenal film. Yeah. So let's, uh, down below, let us know what's the next Bengali film we should watch, whether it's Sad Shit Rai or something else. Anything that Rudy Sen has done, let me know. What's he doing right now? Let's check him. And probably has done, if he's in doing anything on stage, I know we can't get there yet, but uh, he's, I would watch this film again just because I want to watch his face on camera. He's such a beautiful actor. Yes, Reedy Sen, if you are watching, you you're watching, you're a beautiful a actor. Job. Uh, we can't wait to watch what you do next. So let us know down below what we should watch and review next. <laughs>